good morning guys welcome back to today it is summer i'm wearing a i'm wearing a sweater but it's summer yeah the one time i wear a sweater on a t-shirt yeah the one time we wear sweaters hey we're matching i mean i wear a sweater all the time <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, welcome to today's video. We have a lot on our plate today. We left you guys yesterday with the possibility of us getting a go, and it felt like it was meant to be. It felt like it was meant to be. It felt like everything was just happening to get, everything was just happening so perfectly to the point where it just felt like this little goat was meant to be. We ended up having to wait till the end of the day because our friend was at the sales barn and it didn't close till really late. So almost a whole entire day went by and we didn't know if we were gonna get the goat. And then we went to Subway on our way to the barn to see Elizabeth last night for dinner. And some of the guys that we know, like the chicken guy, came in a Subway and he had his truck from the sales barn and he said he bought all these goats. And so then we were asking him like, oh, well who bought the goats? Cause we were trying to get this one goat. And he said that he bought a girl with a bunch of boys. So we were like, oh. And then, but I think he bought the mom with all the babies. We meant like the girl goat. He meant like the baby girl goat and he meant the mama goat. And then he said he bought some of the boys that were in the, in the, little herd that she was in and she said he said that some other great big guy got all the rest of the goats but that wasn't our friend so we were like oh we probably didn't get the goat it sounded like you didn't get the goat but you know what when things happen so easily and it was just like all these signs were misfiring everywhere like we were meant to get that goat like i just felt it so strong and our friend i have so much faith in him like anyways so much later that night we got the message that he got the goat. <laughs> so we were able to get the goat. It was like, it was this huge thing this whole day. We didn't know we were gonna get the goat, but I knew it in my heart. Like I just felt it so strongly. And I wish so much that every choice and every decision we ever have to make could come with that many clear signs from God that it's gonna work out because it was so easy for me to have faith and to believe that we were gonna get the goat. Are you ready to meet her? Before we meet her, uh, how do you feel about getting the goat? I loved her. You loved her. So, she likes me the best. Yeah, she likes Sophie the best. She's, we don't know how old she is. We think she's about six weeks, right? Yeah. All right, are you ready? Set. <laughs> Here she is. So Sophie named her Lola. Ellie, leave Lola alone. I like the name for her. So yeah, so she's kind of like the same color as our little boy Rocky. She's, she looks like she's, she's got some paint mark, markings on her. I love how her belly is black and her legs are black. She looks big in the camera because I'm I'm zooming in on her. Pick her up so they can see how big she is. So we got her last night, and she was definitely a lot more confused and sad. So this is how big she is. She's crying. She looks not too tiny. So, or she doesn't like she's not so super small. She so her brothers, awesome. her brothers had little tiny nubs. You couldn't see them through her hair. When we got her, she didn't like being touched. So I don't know if, like, it's all flat here. There's no, but it's hard. It almost looks like she's been disbudded. So I don't know if she's pulled or if she's been disbudded. But the boys were not disbudded, for sure. And their horns, you couldn't see them yet. You could just feel them. They were big pointy things. Like, they were just, they were sticking up. I'll show you a picture. You could see them, but they weren't, like, super sticking up. Is that okay? I'm saying Even if she's not pulled, we're still happy to have her. She's so cute. <laughs> she... <laughs> well, you guys can see. She's just a little bigger than Ellie. <laughs> she's like, you are crazy. <laughs> Ellie, stop. <laughs> Isn't she adorable? Anyway, I don't know why we were meant to get her. I don't know how come it worked out like that, but there's a reason. There's always a reason for everything. I believe there are no coincidences. I believe everything's happened is meant to happen, whether it was meant that we were supposed to get her or <laughs> something was, I don't know why it happened, but we love her and we're so grateful that our friend <laughs> helped us get her. She's literally a dog. So she, I think she's probably about six weeks. I don't know for sure. Just because of her, of her, of how big the boys were and how big their horns were. Hey, Ellie, stop. I think she's about six weeks just based on how big the boys' horns were. 
and I would think that most people wouldn't send their goats to the sales barn before at least six weeks. So we are giving her a uh, bottle. She's somewhat of a bottle baby. We're giving her bottles twice a day just to keep her having milk. We like to keep our goats getting milk for 12 weeks. She we must have had a bottle before because she took right to it. But that's her. her and her name is? Lola. Lola. Like you said earlier. Lola. She really wants to kill Ellie though. <laughs> it's a common theme of this farm. We're gonna deflea her today. She doesn't seem like she has fleas or anything. She seems completely healthy and I'm gonna give her the CD&T vaccine because anytime you go through like a super stressful situation, you should have it. Although I don't know if she, I don't know if she's up to date on her vaccines. That's a hard thing. That's one of the bad things about buying from a sales barn. But what's super cool is that we bought from the sales barn for the very first time. And I think like not everybody believes in that and that's okay. When we were really big into dogs, there was this whole mindset that like you shouldn't support backyard breeders. You shouldn't buy animals that don't come from reputable, yep, reputable breeders. And yet there are all these animals out there that are neglected and treated badly their whole entire lives and there's this mindset that you shouldn't save them or you shouldn't buy them because it goes against this moral code and when I was younger I used to really buy into that mindset it was only as I got older that I realized that life is about so much more than that and that all animals deserve a chance at life and that all animals deserve to have a happy home honestly this barn is so handy and convenient but it's hard to get stuff down here. Especially when you have people trying to get out. Trying to get free. Whew, I just finished this backbreaking job. <laughs> but somebody has to do it. So essentially what I ended up doing. So every day we mix grain. So we get grain ready for morning and night. So I add some of this, some of this, some of this, some of this, some of this. So I ended up combining everything into one pa pail in the exact order. So like we have mostly grain and a little bit of sunflower seeds and a little bit of beet pulp. So, so I was able to mix this whole bucket full. So now we just have to scoop once with that instead of like going from all the different buckets. And then that's the only one that we have to add is the um, uh, hay pellets. And I need to get more of that. We aren't bringing Lola down to the goat barn yet. We're giving her some time to bond with Sophie to make her super friendly. But more importantly, you never know what you're going to get at a sales barn. So we want to make sure that she's healthy and we'll get, we'll keep her in, keep her away for a little while and we'll have her get a vet check to make sure she has everything she needs. She definitely is going to need the CD and T. I might give it to her today or I might wait for the vet because usually baby goats get a booster of that probably around like the four week mark. So I don't know if she had that. That's the one thing that I forgot to do this morning when I was doing chores, was to give everybody more hay. You still have one whole thing of hay. But one thing goats like more than anything <laughs> is fresh hay. There you go. Go ahead, eat. I really like these tiny little goats, but I swear to God, there's no goat breed that I don't like. I can find so much to love about the bigger breeds too. Like they're calmer. <laughs> they can't climb through fences. <laughs> they don't jump on top of hay bales. I definitely think life would have been easier if we had got bigger goats, but I would never wish these ones away. Ellie is about to be 11 months old. And at the very end of December, November, she's gonna be one and she needs to be groomed. I need to trim her up. So remember I wanted her to be this beautiful princess puppy and she's not. <laughs> and I wanted her to have this big beautiful ponytail. Well, she has like curly hair right here. It makes it really difficult. And she never really grew really nice hair. I ended up trimming it so that she could have s s vision. <laughs> So she could see and I ended up not putting it in a ponytail every single day. Why is there a bump on you? What is that? Come on, Ellie. <laughs> Ellie took Ellie. off. She's like, I heard what you're gonna what you're doing. You're gonna shave me. 
All right, so I'm gonna try and get her done really quick right now. I'm gonna try and get some of her done. She just needs like a bit of a trim. And I wanna, I want her to not have a ton of hair for the winter, even though it'll keep her warm. I plan to put a blanket or a sheet on her, or a, I plan to put a sweater on her. And the reason why is because this will just become a big snowball. The amount of like running she does outside of our house and the amount of like snow she's gonna be through, going through, I want all this gone and put a sweater and a coat on her. So she doesn't become a snowball. Sweater and a goat, uh, coat on my goat. Yeah, Lola. <laughs> Ellie's not sure. She's like, I could probably take this one. <laughs> Ellie, come on. Come on. <laughs> she doesn't want to be shaved. Come here. Come on. Come here. Who is reading the new Britney Spears book? I don't know if you guys are reading it. It's super fascinating to me because of what happened to her. She's, it's such a tragedy that I feel like her life, I feel like she was robbed from her life. But anyway, I'm reading it and I'm just at the beginning of it. We are at the world's finest chocolate store, you guys. This is one of our favorite places to come. We only come once a year Look. usually. Mmm, it smells like hot chocolate. Is your favorite kind of chocolate. We always come for these big barrels. They usually have, I know, can you smell it? it they always have like five forty nine dollars a pound. This is what we usually buy. And at Christmas time, they have boxes of like seconds for really cheap. Mm, and they're so good. So this is what I usually get, caramel. I love that one. What a good girl! So we don't let her run yet because she's not in a safe place. She would run straight to the goats. She would likely not come back to us. We probably wouldn't be able to catch her, but look at how cute she is. I should go get my camera, Sophie, and we should take pictures of her. So I'm at Walmart with Gabby. Gabby drove me. And we are looking for a baby bottle for the goat because the nipples that we got suck. We just need a little baby bottle. That's three. That would be perfect. <laughs> I love it. Gabby wants a drink bottle. So, that's... They're small though. Is that big enough for you? I don't drink water. It's dinosaurs or... Space? Look, I got these ones. That's a little off the mark. <laughs> Alright, now we are in business actual business. That one's cute. That's cute. That's big. Bubba. And it doesn't close though. Now this is a water jug. Gabby's favorite shampoo. Coconut coffee. It's not shampoo. Oh, what is it? It's body wash. Body wash. So the reason we came was to find a new blade for my clippers. Oh no, what if they don't sell blades? You guys, I've been to so many stores today and I can't find the blade for my clippers. They have your shampoo? They I'm right. Shampoo. Get it. No one else has it. I don't want it, but look at it. It's adorable. How can you sell clippers and not sell replacement blades? All right, so I also need a collar. She needs to finally get a collar, one that fits her. Sophie took the one that I was gonna put on her for her goat. Sophie always comes shopping and she always gets whatever she wants, so. It's about time Gabby gets to go shopping and pick what she needs. Literally no one has the color that I want. That is way too big. That's the one. All right, so I literally cannot find any clipper blades. Uh, I'm gonna have to maybe take mine to get them sharpened. I know there's a place, but it's like an hour drive and I don't wanna go there, but I'm gonna have to go there tomorrow. So this is the collar that I got. Hopefully it fits her. I really wanted like a Barbie pink, like a light pink, but this is all I could find today. Look how cute Gabby's car is though. I love this car. Don't you know that you're beautiful?